So, um, the first thing is like, I, I truly feel like destiny is doing this for money and not to heal because like a prime example is her like sitting there with her fiance, like literally laughing, like saying that like me and Chantel, it would be like a sumo wrestling match. Like, and like literally just laughing about it. It gives very much like when, um, Chantel's husband like was making a fat joke about me and like everyone got so upset and like enraged at him like I remember that whole whole thing but like everyone's totally okay with Destiny doing it it's just like what ma'am um I feel like there's a lot of like hypocritical people and it doesn't make sense um how you can have two people who do the exact same thing but like one side is allowed to get away with it while the other side isn't so I do think that's really really um interesting so the next thing is um so in destiny's newest like live stream moments like she's saying how i hold money over people's heads and like she's trying to put like an ill intention around my good intentions if you will and it's really fucking annoying because like in her first video she literally said which i put in quotes um amber lynn likes to pay for people because she's a good person and out of the goodness of her heart. These are things that she has said. So it's like, she's literally lying. Um, why do you want to go to North Korea? That's actually something that I wrote down. I don't actually want to, I, I didn't know what was going on over there. And then people started saying, Oh my God, Amberlynn, we'll go to North Korea. I was so confused. And I realized that like South Korea, North Korea, they're all different. <sighs> I'm not a geography girly. I, for the longest time, thought Alaska was a country. And then the Code Red incident. So when she shared um, about the Code Red incident, like she was saying how I freaked out because she wanted to go see her mom, right? She wanted to go see her mom, which means her mom was not around, right? So she wanted to go see her mom and I wouldn't let her, but yet... In her newest live stream, she said, and I quote, the only person who was a witness to this was my mom. How could she have been a witness to the Code Red incident if she wasn't even there? So it's like she's really trying really hard to like use these like big words like witness and everything else. And I love how someone said you're obsessed with Destiny. This would not be happening if Destiny wasn't the one who decided to do this first. Oh, I never, never, ever physically abused Crystal. I, I feel like, honestly, my relationship with her was the calmest, most kindest, most gentle relationship I have ever been in, hands down. Like, that girl has a beautiful soul, a beautiful heart. There is no one in this world like her. So we need to talk about the SA thing. A lot of people are getting too isolated, isolated for the lack of a better term, um, situations and stories confused and conflicted. So first things first, I was, so I was, um, physically essayed, um, when I was six or seven years old, it was around that time. I don't remember my exact age to the, to the, to the T here. Okay. I don't remember the exact age, but I was about six or seven years old because I remember where I was living when it happened. Um, it was my cousin who did it and she was a female. Um, so that happened and I did not tell my mom until I was about 12 years old. So then in a Q and a on Instagram that I did like two weeks ago or something, um, I said that I had like when I lived with my dad, because I did get to live with him again after I was put into foster care. I was in foster care from eight to 18, but there was a, a year and a half in that time where I got to live with my parents for a trial period. It was to see if they were fit to be parents. And during that time, no, they were not fit. That is why I was taken from them again. They were still doing drugs, this and that, this and that. So at that time, at that age, um, when I was 14, my dad had a lot of like men who were on lots of different types of drug, different types of drugs. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little flustered uh, in a bad way. Um, and when I said that they would essay me, um, 
when I use the A word assault, um, I consider harassment as an assault. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there is a reaction channel named Jordy. Hello. In his exact words in his newest live stream, he said this, assault just means you made someone scared. So again, I'm going to read that again. Assault just means you made someone scared. And majority of his chat agreed with that. As a 14-year-old girl being hit on men in their 30s, I was fucking terrified. I was scared all the time. So for someone, a man, um, Snowflake, to be questioning if I went through that as A, a little girl, as a six and seven year old, and B, as a teenager who was 14, you are disgusting. Someone was asking like when um, Destiny's mom um, beat me up. <laughs> um, I laugh because it makes me nervous. That's not something I like to talk about. If she was drunk or if she was sober, because we did talk about like how she had issues with alcohol and stuff. Um, no, she was sober when that happened. So another thing is I'm like being called a cheater and stuff. And I want to clarify it that I once was when I was a teenager. I definitely was. I'm not going to lie. Um, I had a lot of guilt when doing so. But the last time I cheated was about 16, 17 years old. Um, I was in a long distance relationship with, um, as you guys know, his name is Casey. And I actually posted um, on, what was it? Instagram. Sorry, I'm starting to, um, I posted on Instagram, uh, my yearbook. And it was like uh, my yearbook quotes and like questions, like, what do you love? And at the time I put Amara because um, that was the name that he gave me for him. And when I filled that out, I was 17 years old. A lot of people think that I was an adult when me and him started dating. We're actually only a year and a half apart. Um, I was 16 when we started dating and we were together for almost four years and I was 20 when I broke up with him. So a lot of people get that confused. Um, again, I was 16 and he was 15. Um, I did cheat on him um, when I was 16 because, you know, I was young. It was like a long distance relationship. We hadn't, you know, met in person yet. Like it didn't seem like real to me. So when me and him were actually living together, um, I several times tried to break up with him and then I would feel guilty and stay. So I came up with the idea of let's do an open relationship. Mm, I will never do that again. So we were in an open relationship and it was very hard for the both of us. So I suggested, okay, let's be in an open relationship then because I was not happy. I was, I'm not going to get into why I wasn't happy. Okay. Cause we, we already know. And yeah, so whatever. And I wasn't the only one who had, um, other like girlfriends in that relationship. Um, he also had someone and it made me realize that like, this is not what I like and stuff. So it was very much an open relationship. Um, I know a lot of people keep getting that confused and say I cheated. Like, why would I online like openly cheat on my partner? That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Oh yeah. Another thing is like a lot of people were like asking why weren't you more worried about bleeding for as long as you were like, this is back to like the cancer topic. And it was very much because like when you, when you do a simple Google search, you know, hormonal issues and stuff like that. And like doctors did say that they said, you know, because you're white, because you're, because you're white. Um, sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm disassociating a little bit. This happens every time I live stream, I like lose Every like thought that I have, it's so weird. Hold on. Whoo, because of your weight um, and stuff like that. So I do, I did want to like make that clear that like I had a lot of like reasons to where I was like being delusional in that situation where I was telling myself because doctors were also telling me, oh, it's because of your weight or because of the UTI or because of this and because of that. So um, yeah.
Uh, people were sending me like screenshots of things that Zach was saying, like how he hates my live streams because he has to actually put in work and like sit and watch them. And I was LOLing so hard. It's just like a perfect example of like, why are you reacting then if it's so much hard work on you to sit and like watch me at two times speed? Like, what are you doing? Destiny did not smell bad. No. Someone asked if Mendy worked when I lived with her. No, she did not. And was asking if I paid for my own food. Yes, I did. Because like I said, I was making money from YouTube. Um, around that time when I was living with Mendy, I was making about $1,500 a month, which is not a lot. Um, but I was able to pay for my food and I was able to um, give her money and stuff like that. Thoughts on Destiny's sister saying you smell. Destiny's sister was always so fucking sweet to me. So that like definitely shocked me. Was it your cousin, your dad's friends, or your previous partner? Get your story straight. <laughs> Why can't they all be true? Like, that's so weird. You could clarify Dame, Damon White. I've already talked about that. Could you please say hi to my best friend, Frenchie? She stills cats. Huh? Okay, hi, Frenchie. <laughs> oh, are you talking about FFG? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Where do you and Destiny stand? I We are not friends. I highly doubt Destiny is here. Um, I'm at work and have this muted, but just here for fun and giggles. Yeah, I don't think it's her. Watch, I could literally text her right now. I'm gonna say, is that you? Oh my God, it is. It is her. Oh my God. So you're literally at work watching me. You're a creep. Why are you texting her? Because she texts me. Um, would you invite Destiny to the live? Yeah, I would. I would. I'd be like, tell your lies here. Tell your lies here. Mm -hmm. Did I? Oh my God. Someone just said, did you ever sit on Destiny? No, I did not do that. But this reminds me of my last live stream where I said that I sit on Feline. And I think people were confused by what I meant by that. I meant like I sit on her lap, like how girlfriends do. Um, I have some band-aids because I've been, oh my God, my excoriation so bad. Um, I sit on her lap, like, you know, girlfriends do. And a lot of people took that as like, um, a feeder thing. Like, ma'am, no, <laughs> you know, nothing about feeders. <laughs> Did I ever think that she would do this? No, because we talked about it before and Destiny's like, I wouldn't do that to you. You know, I'm not that type of person, da, 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 da. but it's like all the tea that Destiny has on me isn't even fucking tea. It's like lukewarm water. It's like, bitch, what is this? Like, I don't understand. Destiny says you smell like seafood boil. Okay, Carla. I love that. Meanwhile, me, 120 pounds, feeling too heavy to sit on my boyfriend. Trust me. When Feline's like, sit on my lap, like, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. I never would do it. And it's like, she wants to treat me as if I'm in a smaller body because for so long, I felt like I've been nothing but my weight. So she tries to treat me as a normal person. And it just, it means a lot to me because like for so long, I felt like just inadequate as a person. And no, she doesn't like crushing, smothering. Like, it's not like that, y'all. <laughs> it's not like that. <gasps> Holy shit. Stop licking your lips. No, I am who I am. Why do you think you get all of this hate? Do you ever question yourself? Yeah, I, I question my reality all the time. I feel extremely gaslit a lot. Alex's Shook is no longer my favorite because they're all the same. They're all the same. Why love Destiny after the breakup if she treated you so poorly? Because you don't choose love. I don't know. She was my first, like, I want to I wanna make this very fucking clear, though, because I know a lot of people are going to twist this. I do not love Destiny anymore. I want to make that very clear. Um, I know a lot of people will say that I, I do, and it's fine, like... It is what it is. Um, someone said, you're not filming videos because you're lazy. Like, sis. <laughs> I've been vlogging for a decade. Laziness is not it. Laziness is not it. Are you not filming because of Destiny? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, partially. Um, it's a lot easier um, to just, like, talk about this and, like, let's just do this now and not have to worry about it. Like, because me, like, vlogging and, like, showing what I'm eating or, like, showing you my outfit, like that's like stuff that doesn't matter right now. I just feel like <laughs> YouTube is just really heavy right now. And there's just things that people um, want to know and stuff. So I just feel like this is easier.
Uh, so yeah, and if Destiny has any more lukewarm water that she's going to spill on me, I will be back to clarify. So you know how that goes. She left me like a fucking raisin. Yes, bitch.